Hey everyone, Crashly here. In today's tutorial Tuesday, I am going to be showing you how I made this rainbow striped zebra pen. Isn't it pretty? Anyway, I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step how I did the rainbow stripes and how I sculpted this head. This is going to be an awesome one. And this is a diamond painting pen. I just haven't put the tip on there yet. Anyway, it is a diamond painting pen and this is for two different special people. I'm sure they will be here. They can say here they are. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We do Tutorial Tuesday every Tuesday and it's just a lot of fun. Um, if you enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up on your way out as it does let me know that you like it, I'm on the right track, or if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Anyway, let's get to it. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Hello, everyone. To make this zebra rainbow diamond painting pen, I first started by making a Skinner blend with all the colors and I organized them in a way that I knew, you know, would blend into different colors. Um, so I did the Skinner blend for the stripes and I just did a regular teardrop Skinner blend. Um, you'll see a lot of tutorials out there with skitter blends with triangles. I just did the regular teardrop one. Um, if you need more information about how to make a skinner blend, I do have a video on my channel titled Intro to Skinner Blend. So check it out if you need more detailed steps on this. Um, but basically, yeah, I just made them all a teardrop shape, organized them in the order I wanted them, and then I started rolling it out on the thickest setting. And you will see here, after I rolled it out a few times, I did add in two sheets of the white on the thickest setting. And that was just to lighten some of the colors a little bit and get them to blend better. Um, and then I also add a buttload of glitter. Whew, it's a lot of glitter, all sorts of different colors too. So I'm gonna speed up the Skinner Blend part here and I'll be right back.
So now I'm going to take my nicely Skinner Blend glittery piece here and I'm going to cop it, chop it into pieces um, and then make one long strip. Um, first I'm going to cut off half of it and just save it for another project because it's a rainbow blend. You know, you can use that for all sorts of things. And I don't need that much to do what I'm doing in here. So I'm going to lay it long ways because I want each color in my long strip. And I cut off the extras. And then I'm just going to do, yeah, thin little slices here and then stack them on top of each other. Make it into one long strip. And I do that by first rolling them through on the thickest setting and then going down to a thinner setting. Um, and that just helps when you just gradually go down, it helps it from ripping. Um, and then I'm going to accordion it to make it into a plug.
Okay, now I'm just pressing down on all the sides to get it into a square shape, making sure there's no air bubbles in there. And then I'm going to take a chunk of black clay and make a square block just like this that's similar in size. Um, we're going to try to get them to be as close in size as possible um, because we're going to use those for the actual stripes. And you want an even number amount of rainbow and black if possible. If not, I mean it's okay, but still, you want it to be evenly distributed as much as you can. So this doesn't look pretty yet, but it definitely will once we cut into it. Um, so now, like I said, I'm just going to recondition my black and make that into a square block. And then we're going to be cutting a bunch of triangles out of each color. take each of these triangles and attach them to make a brick. So we're going to alternate the rainbow and the black and we're just going to flip them to where the triangles are going in different directions and we're not lining them up in any specific order. Nothing is uniform with it, just like a zebra pattern. 
So do you line them up? You just want to make the fat ends alternate as best as you can because we are going to be turning this into a brick once we're done.
Now I am taking some black and rolling it out on a medium setting of my pasta machine. And then I'm going to wrap the whole brick in the black. Um, then I'm going to cut the brick a couple times and then restack it just to kind of spread out the different stripes.
Then I pushed in each of the corners of the square brick we have here um, to make it a circular round cane so it's easier to apply to the pen. Um, so after I did that and I rolled it, make sure there's no air bubbles in it, I cut it into thin slices and then applied it to the diamond painting pen.
Once the pin is rolled out, all the pieces are together, um, it's how you like it, we're going to set it to the side. And then we're going to work on sculpting the rainbow zebra head. Now to do this, I got out my Sculpey Ultralight Clay. And that's because I'm going to use it as a mold, kind of. So it, it's so much lighter than the regular clay. So <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with playing with it, as you can see, because <laughs> it feels like putty or something. Um, anyway, so, but with Sculpey Ultralight, you have to bake it before you can put another layer of clay on top of it. So I just made this into a ball, um, whatever size, sh or yeah, whatever size ball I wanted the head to be. And then once I have it into the right size of a ball, I just kind of stick my diamond painting pin in it. Um, you'll see how that goes. And then we have to actually bake it the way it is and let it cool completely. So you'll see here by me sticking the pin in there with the clay being raw, it's going to leave some kind of impression. That way after the clay is actually baked, it will actually stick onto the pin securely. Um, so since this is a thicker piece of clay that I'm going to bake, I do like to make a tent out of tin foil. Um, so I'm just going to put my raw clay ball there in the middle of my pan. My pan and then I just took tin foil and then made this kind of dome tent thing and that just circulates the heat while it's baking to make sure it's evenly cooked um, yeah I try to get a good view so you can actually see how it's in there and then I just bake it that way and make sure you use the instructions on your clay package because Sculpey Ultralight bakes differently than Sculpey Primo which Primo is what I'm using for every other color Once that ball is done baking and completely cooled down, you can see that it goes onto the pen again without falling completely off easily. So that's exactly what we were going for here. Um, now I'm going to take more of my rainbow zebra cane here. I'm going to make some more slices and make it into a sheet. And then I will drape it over the ball that I made for the head to give the zebra its rainbow skin.
just going to work on sculpting the actual face of the zebra and the hair. So I start off by using the scrap clay I had from the rainbow stripes and I put it all together and made it into a thicker snake to actually sculpt the hair. Um, and then, you know, I go on to the face and the ears and everything else.
once we have the head the way we want it we need to secure it back onto the pin so to do that i needed to figure out how much i needed to cut off of the pattern so i stuck the pin on a regular diamond painting pin that we didn't cover just to get an idea and then i trimmed off about that much of the pin that we had covered and then I'm going to use liquid Sculpey clay translucent. I'm going to pour some of that into the hole of the head and stick that on the pin here that we just uncovered some of. And that just secures the head when you bake it so it doesn't fall off. And now we are going to bake it once more. And sorry if you hear background noises, it's actually started raining here. And my microphone on my camera happens to be by my window, so that's what the background noises are. Anyway, so we are going to just bake this again. And then let it cool completely, and then we're going to put some glossy glaze on it.
I did about two layers of this glaze, letting it dry at least 30 minutes in between the layers. And that was it. Our beautiful rainbow zebra pen here. And the beauty of this is since I use Sculpey Ultralight for the head, it's not top heavy at all. It's awesome. But hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a big old thumbs up on your way out. Thanks for coming and thanks for watching. See ya.